Hi guys, welcome back to the Black Sea Empire, where today we are continuing our expansion into the step that we have been doing before in Crimea and into the Bosporan Kingdom, most likely as well. That is going to be very, very fun. Last time we did conquer a lot of land and if we look at our situation currently, we are in a very nice situation, I've got to say. We have probably about a third of the empire ready to go. We're going to have to take these, we're going to have to take all of the settlements up the here as well. And um, if you see this rebel settlement here, guys, Hylia, I believe it's this one. There is a settlement that the uh, the province is all the way up here. The, the city is all the way up, up there somewhere. So I think we'll leave that to last. And it depends how we get on, but we may even just uh, teleport an army there eventually. Um, just, just to do it because it's kind of silly. The settlement's all the way up here. Uh, but anyway, apart from that, all of the settlements are close by. First things first, though, let's, uh, let's use our money to get some juicy little mercenaries that we have going on here. We've got Alanic horse archers. We've got cataphracts. I think we go for the noble cavalry. We've got the Scythians. Uh, let's have a look at these boys. They're a little bit better, so we'll get them. Then we have Sarmatians, they're about the same. And then we've got Sarmatian nobles. That is all we can afford, actually, right now. Uh, which isn't that many, but uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, no problem. We'll uh, we'll keep on going, and we'll probably buy some more next turn as well. Ready to fight the Bosporans. So let's get two more horse archers in this army, guys. And we are going to uh, load it with a lot of cavalry, honestly, because... Um, yeah, cavalry is going to do very well against the old Bosporans. We are going to go after Lampas with this army. Hopefully, we don't take too many losses um, with an army like this, but I guess we'll find out. Well then, let's move on to our next fight, which is at Sithikiki. <laughs> Paliaiopolos, let's go. <laughs> Well, here we go, guys. This is interesting. They do have some units up here, like we've seen. So we are going to get our guys through there, and hopefully we can maybe distract them with these guys uh, and keep the cavalry close by. They are doing a lot of damage to them. You can see all the dead bodies out here. The main thing is getting rid of the step cavalry. Honestly, I think the main thing that we do is the same thing that we do last time, which is just to use our sort of... Um, our infantry as an absolute buffer and just go and destroy them. Um, I think that might be the best option, but uh, we'll find out, I guess, guys, won't we? Well, here we go, guys. We're going to go try and go straight into some of these units. Archers, axemen, all that sort of thing. And then hopefully we can get rid of the step cavalry pretty darn quickly, too. It looks like the archers have absolutely folded. That's good. So let's try and get into the step cavalry. Stop them firing as many javelins. Uh, as they are right now and we might even bring our other cavalry around this way to take some pot shots at them over there too things are going okay guys not amazing but okay we are slowly whittling them down i think it's going to take you know a little bit of time to get rid of all of these guys the main thing we've got to be slightly worried about uh, is of course their general who like we said last time is a very very good general so, uh, yeah, we don't want to be too crazy with our maneuvers here. But here we go. We have managed to get rid of some more step cavalry. Good with the hull archers. And uh, we will just charge straight up this hill, I believe. Probably the best option for us there. I'm going to get the general into the side of them. I'm going to rally him so he doesn't die. There he is. He's all the way at the back anyway. General should be fresh. That should be a good charge. But I guess it was awful. That was an awful charge. Not really a charge. <laughs> And finally, we broke the step axemen. Very nice indeed. Let's get those two units grouped together and bring them up as well. We do have our horse archers here, so they should be firing on the enemy. Uh, where is their general's bodyguard? Ah, that's why our guys are struggling so much. He is now involved in this cheeky little fight here. So I might counter charge him with my general. We do have overwhelming numbers here. And obviously our charge is going to be broken by our own men. But it's such a thin line that it shouldn't matter too much. So yeah, I'm hoping we can do some damage here. He will die relatively quickly once engaged with our generals, surely. Come on. There we go. 
He's starting to go. He's starting to go. That's fantastic. Well, here we go, guys. We pretty much have won the battle now, so uh, that should be nice and easy. Just get rid of these step archers. This army definitely does need to go back for retraining now, though. I was hoping we could get all three of the settlements with this army, but I just don't think we'll have quite enough anymore to do so, which is a bit of a shame, um, but eh, it's okay still. Well, there we go, guys. Actually, a really good result once again. 174 versus 529. You can understand why Nicaretos is now the praised. What a glorious, glorious leader. So let's enslave again. And uh, we are going to leave this area instantly. We are not going to stick around. We are going to go. We do have a garrison boys straight here too. This area is actually relatively decent in terms of trade and stuff. You can see it's got textiles for two. Horses grain over here. Over here, we have grain, horses, fish, pottery, and wine. Uh, more grain. So, yeah, there should be some good population growth in a lot of these regions. And, yeah, they all seem to have trade goods. So, this is going to be a relatively nice region for growing our old economy there. Um, you are going to be the garrison for there. You guys are going back. Is there anyone else that we have left behind? I don't believe so. Uh, maybe those boys, but it should be okay. Um, so, let's go. And Polybios, let's take you. You aren't amazing, I'm not going to lie, but we just need generals over here, really, don't we? Um, ideally, we want you to govern in probably Chersonesos, to be fair. So that also spares these boys to come and garrison somewhere else too, which is good. But uh, let's move on to the next one. And you may have noticed, guys, you may have noticed just at the bottom of the screen there, look at this. The Bosporans have declared war on us now. They haven't moved their armies, which is rather strange. But, um, yeah, they have actually declared war on us with a, with a blockade. So, yeah, I, I really don't mind that at all. Let's get our spy around this way. Find all these um, settlements. We'll also pop this spy over this way. See how they're doing, whether they've got another army. They certainly do. Ooh, going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Uh, but... Yeah, that's uh, that's expected, really, isn't it? <laughs> well, a couple of interesting things in the last end turn. First of all, they did actually bring this army forward, which is a little bit threatening. We've dropped these guys off in the meantime as well. So if we do lose a lot of these guys, we can actually fill them back up. We'll probably use the Thracian Long Spearman as a garrison in Lampas, honestly. Uh, and Kios! Big Kios has decided to come and take us on. Well, good job we got all of these boys isn't it? So um, we'll uh, go and stand there. We'll bring across these boys too. That might open the door for the Thracians to re-attack us, but um, that's absolutely fine. We will get rid of them in a second. Let's just go through the rest of our messages. And we do now have a little bit of recruitment up here. That's going to be very, very useful to get garrison troops, especially in Chersonesos. Up here, what do we have? We have Chersonesian hoplite hop hoplites. 10 melee attack. Yeah. Not not a good hop, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. Celembria has upgraded. Also, a Chaos is going to upgrade. But um, I'll deal with that, and then we'll be back for the battles. Right then, let's go for the field battle first, guys. So this should be relatively easy. But uh, I don't even know what they have. Oh, my. What? Why would you do this, Chaos? Why? You are silly, aren't you? Well, here we go. These idiots decided to uh, hide in the corner of the map. So, uh, not my, uh, not really fans of them right now. I'm glad we did get this little army, though. Definitely uh, has helped us out here. What is that? Uzonoi. Why are you running back? Are you trying to bait us into your other Uzonoi? That um, we know is very, very... Uh, oh, here come the, <laughs> the Phalangites. They're very, very slow, aren't they? Uh, but oh well. Are they not going to withdraw yet? No. Okay. Well, uh, we'll engage them um, and hopefully utterly destroy them. Well, unfortunately, our men can't really catch them. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing. Come on, guys. Go. Go. Why are you all stood there? <laughs> stop that. So dumb. Bro, stop. Uh, you can see here comes the other user. Are they withdrawing yet? <laughs> our men just can't catch them. Come on, guys. Oh, we have to charge them. Otherwise, they're uncatchable. Right, just go for that again. Will you guys, like, actually get to the fight? Rather than messing around. Like, I don't know what you're doing, but it's very, very annoying. And then let's get our cavalry out. Oh, God damn, Kios. 
How could you be more annoying than this? Attack us with three units and then be a dickhead about it. Well, let's see how they do against the charge. They shouldn't do well against the charge, but uh, we don't have many men. But there you can go. There you see. Here comes the Tarantines. Yeah, instantly broken. That's what we like to see. Our men are very, very tired. So, uh, uh, yeah. Let's bring uh, these archers forward as well. See if they can maybe do a little bit of damage to the Yuzonoi in the background. I've got to say, these Kian archers, although they do have a general in the unit, of course, they're pretty hard. They've uh, they've stuck out against some decent uh, Cretan hoplites and mercenary hoplites for quite some time. Like, uh, fair play to them. Fair play. Looks like we are we are taking uh, some Javis now. So good job we did bring these guys up. Hopefully ward them off. Uh, and then we shall get our cavalry into the action soon as well. Hopefully these... Uh, these guys break, but look at them. They're, they're only shaken. They're doing very, very well. Well, there we go, boys. There goes the uh, the archers. So we are going to just charge the Yuzonoi now. I don't know why he's running away. Like, just constantly running away. You chose to siege me down, bro. You chose it. Stand and fight. Don't run. <laughs> that should be enough, though, hopefully. Our uh, guy's just running through them. So that should hopefully be enough. Hopefully. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I mean, we only lost 32 men, but that was a lot more annoying than it should have been. <laughs> well, while we're here, we might as well hit that guy, and that is all our movement done. That may invite the Thracians, like I said, but we have enough army there to, to deal with what they have. Anyway, let's now get on to this battle. And once again, they have a couple of Axemen, and the rest is just missiles. So, yeah, again, we're going to use our horse archers, all that sort of thing, as our main units here. Let's go. I've got to say, looking at this army, it is a nice, clean army, isn't it? It's not set up too cleanly. What about these gaps, boys? Get your, uh, get your sergeants to uh, to address the ranks a little bit. But uh, yeah, it is a nice, clean army. We've got our light cab, we've got our horse archers, our two generals, and a buttload of infantry. I think this uh, this army can take down a lot. Well, here come the step cavalry. Honestly, I'm just going to charge in there and see if we can uh, deal with them. These three boys are going to come over here. It's a little bit glitchy there, so I'm slightly worried that they're going to glitch out there. And then the rest of you boys can come around this way. There we go. And once we get a bit of chance, we'll get our horse archers in too. They're going to fight the step axemen first. That's no problem for me at all. I'm happy with that. So uh, let's see if we can get some of these horse archers in to continue their reign of death upon the enemy. Well, I'm glad we've got some veterans over this side. It's going to allow them a little bit more defense against the enemy and hopefully a little bit more attacking power. But as you can see, yeah, it's, it's just these battles, because of the amount of uh, missiles that get thrown, you do lose a lot of men. Even if you win it easily, you still end up losing a lot, a lot of men. So I'm hoping we can maybe get our very, very experienced general into here and try and deal with some of these boys before they get too frisky. Well, there goes the uh, the general. We've also tried to corner the step riders there. So that is everyone there dying. Very nice. Let's uh, gather these boys together. So you guys, you can be grouped. Now, let's uh, carry on against them. Where's... Oh, I didn't mean to group the general, but that's okay. You can go and kill them anyway. You guys are going to turn. And then we've got these boys here as well hopefully able to deal with the step riders i know it's blobby i know it's not the most um efficient way out of all of all the ways to uh, to get these guys but honestly it's, it's not bad <laughs> like uh, it's basically just the massive bum rush and it's basically just trying to get rid of their missile advantage so that we force them into melee so they can't be uh, missile advantaged anymore but it genuinely looks like these guys on this flank took the most damage if you have a look at the uh, the troops, which is kind of strange. They probably shouldn't have taken that much damage, but uh, they did. So uh, <laughs> here we go. And as you can see, we are just like crushing these step cavalry. So let's just get all our men in there ready to, uh, ready to fight. Stop them firing any more javis. Well, there we go, guys. Like I say, not a hard battle at all. You just end up losing so many men to the Javis, but we did a good job. 121 kills for that Greek hoplite. Very nice indeed. Horse archers doing bits as well. Just a decent battle overall. Well done, boys. 
And once again, let's enslave in here. Let's uh, repair that, stick this down to low, and uh, we'll get moving on. Now, before we do that, let's leave the Thracians in there. That They're actually happy uh, with the Thracians. What I'm going to do is get this guy into here and put him into all of the other units. In fact, let's uh, sort that out. So basically, he is the re uh, replenishment tool for us over here. We don't need to send any of these boys back for retraining at all. So we've got a perfectly balanced army for the next battle. You probably can replenish again. Do we want to do the same with the 304? I think we do. In fact, that 304 is better. So uh, let's uh, combine you into there rather than the other way around. There we go. We've got so many armies over here. I'm slightly confused now. <laughs> Um, all these guys didn't lose any men at all. Um, who did we lose there? Who have I taken out that I haven't meant to take out? Oh, the uh, the long spearmen have come out, haven't they? So let's put in a 304 a cavalry. I think that's the most useful out of the units we have left, apart from the Greek hoplites that are on the way. Let's uh, besiege that down and hope that they come and attack us. You guys can keep coming, no problem. You guys can come up there as well. And let's see if that, uh, that big army attacks us. That'll be fun. And as expected, they did decide to come and attack. Let's go. Defensive positions for the boys. Ah, we should be in a good place, especially with the horse archers. Let's go. Well, you know, I said defensive position, guys. Um, Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting out here on the Crimean, Crimean Peninsula. All the maps are very, very flat. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just don't know what I was expecting. Well, we've got to remember to kill both of these units and make sure they all die. Um, otherwise, we are a little bit toast um, in terms of taking the city with this battle. But overall, I think we're quite good. The Sindian cavalry is basically just step cavalry. So we're going to harass the enemy with our horse archers to start with. Um, and then we are going to... Uh, course move forward a little bit not too much try and engage their infantry somewhat and then we're going to fold around the flanks with our missile cav as well once their cavalry is dealt with the range on these guys is actually really good on the Sindian cavalry they managed to get a couple of my units over here from quite far away so do have to be slightly careful of that um, the only thing that I'm thinking now is we are leading this cavalry around this right hand flank so let's get ready to receive them on the right hand flank here um, and keep moving backwards we'll keep baiting them that's no problem for me at all we'll keep baiting them and taking them out i mean we've killed a lot of them already they are very big units as well that's one thing to remember well i think it's time to challenge them with our own uh, uh, missile cav now we have cavalry in reserve ready to charge if needs be horse archers ready to go as well uh, which ones are these the sarmatian nobles they're going to be good on the charge too so i don't think we need to worry too much about them there they go they do stop they do stop we should get some good throws off here um so yeah let's uh let's push them back let's get rid of them if we can uh, get our general involved too that'll be even better uh, i'm not sure that he will get involved but we are absolutely shredding these boys now looks like they're going for the charge let's get in there two boys and it will bring the uh, generals back for the second we don't want to lose any of those boys uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's go and then let's uh, not forget about these units. That would be good, wouldn't it? Although it's only uh, it's only 304. Right? We'll be all right. <laughs> well, there we go. They're sending in another one of their cavalry units. So they really are going ham on the cavalry, and they're losing. Um, the only problem is, as you can see, guys, they do come back from routing very very quickly. These boys, so we do need to be careful. Um, about it but otherwise we're doing a pretty decent job well i think now's the time while they have no breathing room uh, because most of their cavalry is now dead that we move forward in terms of cavalry yeah they've got this unit of asian cavalry which i believe is a horse archer no they're not they're just a uh, javi boys so yeah overall i think we're very very good well, let's go, boys. Let's get engaged in this fight. They've dilly-dallied around way too much. Like, what are they doing? Like, just, just engage us, man. Just engage us. So, and they're also just really focusing on the cavalry rather than doing anything else. So, I mean, that is fine by my standards. It just means they're going to get absolutely munched uh, when we get round to charging them. 
So, uh, yeah, I think we're in a pretty darn good spot here. And remember, they don't have a general. So, as you can see, they're just, they're just routing. A lot of them are just routing here. Um, let's just try and catch someone here. Come on. Is there anyone? Hoplites there. Get them. We are getting a little bit spread out. And those trees are a little bit annoying. But apart from that, we're still in a good good spot here. There we go. Broken this th uh, this Thurio 4 right. All good. Let's make sure we block off the retreat of these hoplites. Well, look at this spot to fire into the uh, Bosporan hoplites here, guys. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That is very nice. That is very, very nice. I love to see that. Don't you just love horse archers? Who doesn't love horse archers? I love horse archers. <laughs> I hope you guys love horse archers too. <laughs> And this unit has been absolutely scythed down by the arrows. So we're going to bring these horse archers around here now to fire at these guys. We're also going to bring these boys around, very much so, to start chasing down some of their light infantry and their archers, all that sort of thing. Let's go for a charge on this side too. Let's see if we can break that hoplite. We can. Very nice. Um, I don't think we need to worry about those little, little bits. Oh my god, this guy's been chasing down Pete, this uh, this Greek archer for ages. <laughs> um, so yeah, what do we have here? Got more Bosporans, all that sort of thing. Absolutely fine. Let's get firing, boys. Let's get firing. Right then, guys. I think we are we're starting to clean up now, which is very nice. Just need to get rid of all these light infantry units. They're very, very annoying. As you can probably tell. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's just keep on chasing them down. Um, and then hopefully we can break a few more units. That's one of their generals going as well. So, uh, yeah, let's make sure that we kill everyone we can. Oh, it's just a bloodbath out here, guys. It is just an absolute bloodbath. Let's get those guys in there as well because they are good at the charge. You can see they have their spears as a secondary weapon. There goes one more of the generals. Just absolutely tanked let's go on to these boys they're all starting to route now let's go with these boys it's just chaos out here boys it's just chaos it is an absolute bloodbath and i don't think we've lost even many men at all how many have we lost 25 percent nope we are continuing we are going to send a message out to the bosporans this is what you get for declaring war on us i mean we were going to declare war on you obviously admittedly uh, but uh yeah we'll uh <laughs> We'll take the moral high ground on this one, I think. Well, there we have it, boys. Look at that. 2,000 killed, 500 lost. Insane. 217 for the Scythian Noble Cavalry. 214 for the Sarmatian Boyos. 232 for the Sarmatian Noble Cavalry. Very, very nice indeed. Great victory. That goes to show you, boss friends, don't mess with us. We'll mess you up. And there we go. We took Theodosia. Let's uh, enslave over here. Very nice. Really, Kizikus? Like, really? Did you not see what happened to Kios? You idiots. <laughs> Let's accept this next candidate for adoption. We've also got someone coming of age. Kratisthenes over here. He's got one management. That's not too bad. So probably want to put him in Turizis. So there we go into there, my friend. Um, and yeah, uh, we got Thukydides as well, who's been adopted up here, which is actually fantastic because you can actually just literally go straight in there as a governor because we do want to govern this place. Let's stick uh, a Thracian boyo in there. That's actually okay. Um, and yeah, we are in a very good spot here. Uh, heaven forbid, though, I really do not want to have to fight a siege battle with that many troops on the other side. <laughs> so uh, let's go for Nymphion instead. And hopefully they'll try and relieve the siege. How is uh, Theodosia looking? It's looking very, very good. Let's uh, just build that straight away then. No need to, to, to worry about anything else or mess around. Let's get you guys all together once more. You guys need to catch up you're a bit slow at the minute boys i've got to say and we did get sieged by the rebels uh, 102 peltas versus 10 <laughs> 10 guys yeah honestly it doesn't matter if Karkine falls that'll be a really easy retake let's keep on going up around this way you can see all of the uh the settlements along here let's see how far the uh, scythians have got i mean they've not even got up to here yet so 
They're not doing a very good job, unless they're already dead, but I don't remember seeing that message. Oh, boys, it is done. It is done. Dacian horse, Ar horse archers for the boys. Let's get them in straight away. We're also going to be able to recruit them from Aegisos over here in four turns. So that is amazing. That is going to be so, so good. And there we go. We can retrain all of these boys, ready to go straight back at the Bosporans in the northeast as well. Absolutely fantastic. Well, then let's just push Kizakus back. I might just auto resolve this. Like, there we go. 108 men lost. They're all mercs anyway. Doesn't really matter. Let's get you guys off. We are going to send you back to rejoin these boys. You might get killed, but it'll be okay. We might even attack these boys. How many is that? 240. Again, these troops, actually whittling them down is a good idea. Um, because they are literally just to stop the Thracians from attacking us. So, yeah. I think that's probably going to be about equal in both sides. So, yeah. Good. And there we go, Kizikus, you idiots. Okay. Honestly, why do these factions do it? Like, it's just so stupid. They have an alliance. Which yeah, no, obviously. Well, guys, here we are. We are attacking Nymphion. What I'm going to do, though... Ah, oh, these guys don't have a ram. That's rather annoying, because what I was going to do was auto-resolve this. But with the other army, so all of the, uh, all of the pain goes on those guys. I think I'm going to do that. Um, I'm just, I'm just hoping that these guys are going to be clever enough to come out or maybe even get these guys across to attack us because maybe they're just running scared, you know, maybe they're just running scared, but oh well. So it looks like we will end up bordering the Scythians, but only here, just via this settlement here, Jorgripa, Jorgipa, Jorgipa, whatever. Um, so yeah, that will be very good because... Ideally, I don't want us to go to war with them. We may have to at some point. It is likely they will attack us, but overall, I really don't want to go to war with them. So that is at least a good sign on our front over here. Right then, guys, let's uh, do our little trick here. Let's uh, auto-resolve this side. We're going to 192. Let's also enslave Nymphion. That has not grown at all. 2,000. That is tiny, man. That is absolutely tiny. So let's go for Panticapion here. Hopefully that has grown. It is a minor city, but I believe it starts as a minor city. Well, we have our own reforms. I don't know what that means for us. I don't think it means much. We did get the Thurioforoi reforms. Okay, we now get the Tomian Epilectoi, which is a very good unit. Wow, a lot better than our, than our standard hoplites. Uh, Thracian Noble Cavalry as well. So I guess, yeah, recruit 50 units. I guess recruiting mercenaries doesn't count in that. That's why we weren't at it before. But very nice, very nice. That is good. We do need, what do we need for that though? Fourth tier barracks. Fourth tier barracks, bro. Fourth. Fourth tier barracks. Large city. Well, that is definitely not going to happen by the end of the campaign for any of the settlements. I mean, if even if I put all these down to low, they're going to be growing at such a slow rate. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> well then, guys, let's get on to Panticapion, the capital of the Bosporans. This will be a big statement felt around the whole of the Black Sea here. We've got their Machai Roforoi, which are quite a decent unit. Obviously, we just have our standard Greek hoplites, which is not amazing. And that is all infantry. Ah, that's, that's not nice. That is not going to be nice. But um, let's see what we can do. Well, this is going to be very tough if we can't take the walls. So let's hope they don't have too many soldiers on the walls, guys. Let's go. Looks like they've put no one on the walls. So I don't know why they've done that, but that's good for us. Well, here we go. We've let the towers do a, a decent enough job to start with, but we have come now into the city. Looks like they just don't want to engage where the towers are. So we are going to risk coming down with these boys. Let's go. Where's the other unit? Okay, both of them have gone a long way around. So what I'm thinking is if we can just distract a few units, have a couple of sacrificial lambs like these units here, just to wear them down, maybe distract a unit or two. That should be good for us. Uh, keep them off the town square for some time. 
Are you guys firing at will now? Fire at will. You might as well. You might as well. Then we're going to get our cavalry in. I know it sounds insane, guys. It sounds insane, but it's not. I promise you. I'm going to try and use them to the best of our ability. Just like down here, basically. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get them in. Well, they are committing more and more to this left flank here. So if we can break through this Bosphor and Thurio Foroy, we can maybe come and get them. Probably not, though. That's the only problem. Yeah, I, I say that, but yeah, probably not. <laughs> well, we did manage to get one of our generals through. The other one took a little bit of a beating. So we are just going to chill out around here. I was hoping we could maybe... I mean, if we could maybe sneak through there, that would be good. So maybe we try that. Um, and then, of course, the general's going to come around to there. He's going to charge these boys in the back, if possible. Maybe we even go with this one and try and bait them off the square here. So maybe we try that. That should hopefully bait them, honestly. But, um, yeah, while we're here, surely you guys could fire from there. Not sure it would be a great shot, but let's see how much friendly fire there is. Come on, boys. Let's go. Fire, man. Fire. Sounded like they fired, but they I don't think they did. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but oh well. Well, they are just shredding us over here, completely and utterly ruining us. So we're going to try and use all the javelins we can. That should hopefully help out if we can get these boys here. There we go. We've now surrounded this Thurio Foray. That should help, especially if we can kill the general. But, god damn it, this is going to be a bloody, bloody siege. All that infantry in one place, never good. Right then, charging into the back of the Thurio Foray. That's going to be what we have to do here. We are firing Javis in the Machoroi Foray. Let's see if we can break this Thurio Foray. That's going to be incredibly useful if we can. Otherwise, I don't know whether we even have enough infantry to do this, guys. Like... We have a lot of cavalry, but they're just so useless in cities. And that was possibly the worst charge I've ever seen. What was that? <laughs> Come on, boys. You literally just walk, like charged and then stopped before you got into them. That was very dumb. Very, very dumb indeed. Right, second time's a charm, my friends. Second time's a charm. Let's see what we do here. That was better. That was better. Destroyed that front line. Completely broke them. There we go. That's what we needed the first time, boys. Glad you did it second time, but that's what we needed the first time. <laughs> well, there we go. Now we've killed the enemy general. That is good. I'm wondering what we do here, though. Like, if we could potentially hold those boys like that, there is a chance that we can get all of our horse archers onto the square. <laughs> it's just crazy, really, right now. Uh, crazy ideas, but uh, let's not run with you, boys. Let's not run with you. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, there we go. They have engaged us. Unfortunately, we are going to have to, you know, kill them all on the town square. But uh, I'm hoping we can use our horse archers to good effect uh, right now. So uh, let's see if we can do that. We do have hoplites on the way up there too, which is just very annoying. But uh, yeah, oh, oh well. I mean, we might, might even want to turn these guys around just to hold this square off a little bit more. But... This is just horror. Horror. Right, now, this is, like, literally the only way we can win this. We've got to get these guys all firing now, and they've got to do some good, good shots. Otherwise, we are just completely screwed. So, uh, yeah, and hopefully these guys hold for a little bit longer, because otherwise we're also a little bit screwed here. So, yeah, it's just, it's just not good. It's just really not good. Well, it is working. It is working. The Matroi Foroi, though, are very, very strong. They are an insanely strong unit. I'm hoping we can hold there just until this unit gets here and blocks them from coming on the town square. That's our main sort of aim here. We're probably going to have to use these, these cavalries as well to kind of just box them in. Um, but yeah, though, uh, this is definitely working. I mean, the Thurio Foroi is down to two. It's so now the Matroi Foroi that are the uh, that are the issue. I don't mind about friendly fire as long as we win, guys. But we definitely will not have an army big enough to fight that big army too. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. It's just this, this infantry. Like, our infantry is just nowhere near strong enough to take these guys on one-to-one, -one, especially on hard. 
So, yeah, we, we've had a bit of a nightmare, really. All right, now it's time to make sure that they don't come onto the uh, the square, guys. So, um, yeah, we're going to get all of the rest of our exhausted infantry on that. Then we're going to get all of these guys in here to fire at the hoplites. And hopefully that'll whittle them down enough. There we go. They are trying to push their way on the square. It looks like they're going to be successful. Can we not wait? One minute 50, guys. Come on. Otherwise, we're going to have to kill all of these men. All of them. Like, literally all of them. <laughs> Maybe we give them a charge. Oh, God. No. Well, main solution, guys. Is let's uh, surround them with cavalry. Let's also stop these guys from firing. Don't think them firing is a good idea anymore. And that has worked quite a treat, honestly. Very nice. Lost a few of the men. But, like I say, this army just needs to go back and retrain ASAP anyway. God, these Machiroi Foro units are insane, guys. They're so tough. So, so tough. Insanely good. Insanely good units. And look at that, guys. That just goes to show the strength of their infantry versus ours. Ours was absolutely terrible. Look at this Machiroi Foro. 296 kills. Whew. Well, yeah, we just could not compete with that on the infantry front. I, I never thought that would be the case with the Bosporans, but it turns out that it is. And same thing again. Let's enslave. There we go. And yeah, it's a very nice settlement. And it did have a lot of population. So yeah, very nice indeed. Very, very nice indeed. Of course, we didn't damage anything either. Honestly, I think we need to get this army out of here because if they siege us down, there's a good chance we lose. I mean, I don't think we would lose. Especially if we sallied out, but yeah, for now, let's uh, let's leave. Let's get 44 men in there. I mean, it's not doing anything. Um, let's just get as many men as we can, really, in there without making the other settlement too unhappy. 75%, no problem. Let's leave behind... I mean, Aristolos, are you going to make them happier? Tiny bit. I mean, if we leave behind you and leave Aristolos in here... What we can do while we are going for retraining, uh, once we can move that boat, um, what we are doing then is um, allowing ourselves the opportunity to buy mercenaries if we absolutely have to. Another candidate for adoption, guys. We are, of course, going to accept that. And he has gone into Pantacapayan. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, what I might actually do is... Uh, Assign him to this army just to escort them um, for a little while. You guys are going to get back on the ships. How far can we go? So I was thinking if we can jump off down here. We go for that. That's going to knock them back. And then we'll go for that one. There we go. That's good. Let's jump on there. Let's get this army into there. How far can we go? <sighs> Not far at all. And unfortunately, the Bosporans do have a nice big navy around somewhere, which, uh, of course, is going to be a bit of an issue. But for now, let's just uh, get Pentapolis recruitment one. A shipwright would be lovely. Honestly, I'd love to get a... Um, like, law building? Do we not get access to standard law buildings? Let's have a look. So we get the Odeon. Okay, so we only get the Odeon. We don't get the Execution Square. I believe that must be a Hellenistic thing then. Oh, no. Let's go for recruitment then. <laughs> oh, and guys, we can now get the Scythian Horse Archers as well in three settlements. I built the construction, um, the recruitment building in all three of these settlements. So we can get horse archers even quicker. They're not the best horse archers, but they're not terrible either. I mean, if we get our temple up here as well, Temple of Artemis in all of these settlements, that will definitely help too. Um, so yeah, what is that? Trying to Zeus. Oh, well, we'll uh, just retrain them in a different one, but very nice. We're also building recruitment in both of these areas because we should be able to get some decent AOR here, right? We can get their Bosporan Hoplites, which are... Are they better than ours? They are slightly. Not not much, though. Um, so, overall, yeah, just pretty standard, but at least get some AOR in there. 
But let's just auto-resolve Hermanosa. I don't think we're going to lose too many men. No, we didn't. Very good. That's perfect. We're going to go straight on to Fano Garea. Fortunately, though, now we don't have anyone to garrison here, do we? So I'm thinking if we combine those, that actually combine them fully. Uh, what about the Thracian Hippocontistae? Yeah, not, they're not too happy. Not not happy at all. Um, <laughs> do we have any mercenaries here? We have none. Well, I think we can we can have a turn of rioting or two. That'll be fine. Well, guys, I think we're going to end it there for today. We have made significant progress. We've taken, what, three, four, five, six settlements. We have lost a singular one. We lost Karakine to the rebels. But like I say, I don't think that's too much of a worry. Obviously, we need to take this one. Uh, this one is actually a settlement. It's this area here, Basilike Scythia, that's the one that's all the way up there. Um, so we need to take all of those. We can kind of see what we need to do now. So I think we're in a good position, guys. Um, it's been a very fun episode. I hope you have liked. If you did like this episode, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.